Temu kembali sidang kemuncak keusahawanan satu ASEAN One AES telah berlangsung minggu lalu di Kuala Lumpur. Acara tersebut telah menarik minat delegasi dan usahawan dari serata Asia Tenggara. Pusat Inovasi dan Kreativiti Global Malaysia Magic dalam masa yang sama turut melancarkan Pusat Keusahawanan ASEAN atau AIS. Dan untuk mengetahui peranan AIS dan usaha untuk meningkatkan ekosistem keusahawanan di Malaysia dan ASEAN, kita bersama pengarah Pusat Keusahawanan ASEAN AIS, Muhammad Yusni Rahman dan izin saya bertutur dalam bahasa Inggeris dari sekarang ini. Mr Yusni, thank you so much for joining us in the Business Hawani Studio. Thank you. Mr Yusni, so first of all, What's the biggest problem for local startups to begin or to expand their businesses to foreign markets? That's a very good question. Um, actually, as a startup, I think most of the time the challenge is that is actually uh, try to follow the regulations or even actually try to even, even let's say you you have um, you know the processes that you need to follow up and all that. So this is the reason why um, we try to create a one-stop center so that. Uh, any of the startup that want to have any of the services, they can come to only one place. Mm -hmm. So rather than they have to go to many places, and then after that, you know, reason thing because um, startups sometimes they are very junior, the founders, and then they are not very familiar with all these processes. So mm -hmm. this reason why we actually, uh, you know, come to the idea that okay, if they come to Magic, and then there's a one-stop area that is, is a platform that they can come to us. We give them assistance, we give them you know consultation, and. Uh, from there, they can just concentrate on the actual business instead. Hmm. Yeah. So this is ACE. So can you just tell tell us a bit more about ACE and uh, what is its role in becoming the one-stop shop for one-stop center for startups in Asia? Well, um, put it this way, because uh, if you're a startup, and then um, there's like a startup journey. You know, start with, let's say, you want to, you have an idea, okay? You want to create a company, you want to create a business. So you start with incorporating your company. You know, so you create a company, then you definitely will have some sort of, uh, you know, like legal documentation you need to have. If let's say you have, I mean, obviously, to start a company, you have to have at least two directors. So you have to have at least, uh, you know, a partnership agreement, and then mm. you need to have, you know, like a chain of vendors or mm. partners, that, you know, supply your hardware, software, and stuff like that. So what what is is trying to do is that we create a journey for a startup where they start with incorporation company and then come with the legal uh, requirement. And then we also because trying to bring more startups from ASEAN countries to come and base in Malaysia, so they create more economic you know, growth. So that um, if you say you are a foreign startup, you definitely need to have at least a, you need to have a visa to mm -hmm. be able to work mm -hmm. in Malaysia. So that's where uh, we look into how visa application will help you as well. And then uh, you need to have you know like banking account. You need to be able to actually do your tax uh, you know accounting and you know and uh, tax uh, you know uh, um, submission and all that. And not to forget, they also to have uh, IP uh, protection as well. Uh, so all that we try to put into one platform. So rather than they go all the way here and there, they come to us, and then we assist all that. So as a founder, you must relief rather than you know, okay, tomorrow I have to go here, tomorrow I have to go there. <laughs> see, that, that kind of stuff, you know. So at least make it more simplified for them. But surely yeah. to provide all these different kinds of services, uh, surely you must have collaborations with different partners or firms to provide different sort of services, you know, legal firms and things like that. Do, do you? We do, we do. Okay, to be honest is that uh, Magic alone cannot do all this, mm. you know, because, I mean, we are very lean, you know. So <laughs> uh, what we do is that we work smartly with a, a couple of partners. Uh, we were we were quite lucky when we come up with this idea, and then we approach uh, you know like the legal firms, we approach the IP practitioners, uh, we even approach Maybank as one of the biggest banks in Malaysia. Say that look, uh, we need to create some sort of platform so that we can help the startup. And they ask us, what do you want? You know, we can create a, we call them like a startup friendly kind of package so that if they say the startup that you know obviously startup at the early stage they may not even have any income, so mm -hmm. they need to pay the fees. So that means uh, all these uh, partners that we have are willing to come up with a package where the startup can absorb. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and one thing that, that we are quite lucky is that they come up with a package that below the market rate. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's in terms of uh, helping startups start up you know, and, yep. and expand. <laughs> um, but basically, how does this program, how does ACE uh, empower our local startups to uh, breach or to you know, land on foreign shores and, and, and you know? Do yeah. the business on foreign markets. Yeah. Uh, okay. The, again, the biggest challenge for a startup to move beyond the boundaries is because they're not sure what to expect. You know. So especially if let's say like even like us, if let's say we go to uh, you know we go traveling, 
we don't know what to expect. We, we get very you know anxious, and then we don't know whether we are doing the right thing or do the wrong thing. But what startup, uh, what uh, Ace is trying to do is that uh, we work with um, a magic <coughs> equivalent uh, in uh, all different different ASEAN countries. There's mm. nine ASEAN countries, including Magic is ten. So what we do is that uh, these are those uh, partners that actually are in the startup ecosystem. So mm. they have been assisting a lot of startup, even some foreign startup who are based in those countries. I've been assisted by them, you know. So we work together with them. So then, when any of the Malaysian startup want to go to any of these countries, for example, like Malaysian startup want to go to Thailand, want to go to Indonesia, they go to our partner that already there, willing to support them and willing to actually help them with all this whatever support that we have mm. here in Malaysia. So you you yeah. mentioned magic equivalents in, in other ASEAN countries. Mm. Um, obviously, you're collab collaborating with them. Mm. Um, to what level and how about the future? Do you see mm. collaboration to a deeper extent with all these entities in Asia? Oh, definitely. Um, I, I always believe this, you know, that uh, as a startup, you know, uh, when, when we always ask, uh, most of the startups say, okay, when you start your business, the first thing you need to do is come up with your business plan. So the, when, you, when you have the business plan, the first thing you need to know is that how big the market you want to capture. You mm -hmm. know? So when you say the, how big you capture the market, capture to start with, the big, the, to begin with, most of the startups say, I just want to go local market. So when you say local market, it can be like with what, Klang Valley, or it can just that within Malaysia. But why are we trying to help this, this startup to have the idea that, look, you start with the regional market, it's mm -hmm. your local market. Mm -hmm. You see? So this is where all our partners somehow actually have that kind of mindset and they're willing to work collaboration so that if any of the startup to go to any of this ASEAN market, they have that kind of support. You see? So, so it's immediately the regional market is, is where they start with. Okay. Yeah. Um, Magic also um, did something, a little something called the ACE Challenge and I understand that it was already over but can you just tell us a bit, enlighten our viewers as to what the ACE Challenge was? Okay. Because uh, we were launched on uh, 21st, uh, uh, last Saturday. So at, at the launch, we were thinking, that, okay, how do we want to bring more startup to come up and then, you know, um, you know a benefit to all this program? And we already have the commitment from all this, our shared service partners. We even have commitment from all our ASEAN partners that come all the way from those countries and, and base here in, in that two days, uh, one year's event. So what we did is that we create um, a challenge, it's an info challenge. It's an online challenge that they have to go online through our website that is at mymagic.my. But for them to answer this question, they need to go and talk to those partners. <laughs> so if they yeah. say that there's a there's a there's a answer, there's a question about uh, IP protection, and and the question have multiple answers, but for them to get the answers, they have to go and talk to the IP practitioners. Then for over there, immediately they have more than one question they need to ask. You see? So let's create more conversation with, uh, with the session partners. So that was the challenge there? Correct. <laughs> okay, so yeah. for startups who wish to join ACE and also you know, we go through the bigger picture uh, in terms of how recent economic developments such as the ASEAN economic community play a role in empowering startups. We will talk about this after the break. Dan bisnes awan ini berhenti rehat seketika. Kita kembali selepas ini. Selamat kembali dalam bisnes sawah ini dan kita masih bersama pengarah Pusat Keusahawanan ASEAN Ace Muhammad Yusni Rahmat dalam membincangkan uh, perniagaan permulaan ataupun startup di Malaysia dan juga di ASEAN dan izinkan saya betul-betul dalam bahasa Inggeris sekali lagi, Mr. Yusni. Um, okay, picking up where we left off, you were discussing yeah. something, we were discussing something about the Ace Challenge and yes. um, lucrative prices and incentives given to startups. Do you mind describing a bit about that? Yes, okay. Uh, on that particular day, when we did that challenge, uh, we actually have a 50k purse, uh, 50,000, mm -hmm. for 10 startups to win. So what happened is that um, every startup that win, they get about 5,000 worth of services. So these services, they have to go back to uh, all the all the shared service partners to provide, and then it's actually paid off through that incentive. Oh, so that's a little incentive to encourage their Correct. entrepreneurial. Yeah, it can IQ. be quite big sum for startup. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay. Anyways, moving along, uh, I'm seeing your uh, the the you know the bio of this program and also your organisation, mm. and I'm seeing some partner law firms and 
yeah. multitude of other companies and partners. Mm. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm seeing law firms which are very established yeah. and some which are less so. Mm. So would this uh, create a level playing field? Would the lesser or smaller or newer firms provide mm. services equal to those of greater experience? Actually, if you, are, if you ask me, actually it will be a challenge for the bigger firm to actually cater to the startup. Because uh, for the smaller firm, because uh, the founder themselves, the, I mean the, the lawyers themselves, are also start up in, in a way. Mm -hmm. Because then they understand, you know, that when the startup come to them and say, look, you know, I have this problem, I have, I require this. And then because their fee, their, their fee structure is much more flexible. You know, so, but we are quite lucky that we have a couple of uh, big firms, you know, uh, firms like uh, Inazai Ibrahim & Co. We have also like, uh, you know, uh, Asmi Associate, that they are actually willing to come up with a startup package as well. You know, so when the startup comes to them and then get the services, they actually get to the price where the startup can absorb. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 quite, it's quite okay for both, you know, both sides, the f bigger firm and law firm to actually accept. But you're you saying know. that the bigger and more experienced firms, uh, being a willing partner and participant in this initiative shows that the, the belief that they have in this program, really. True, because, uh, I mean, put it this way, because if you ask me, uh, uh, you know, ask the general public, if you talk about startup like one and a half year ago, people will say, what's that? You know, but <laughs> since now, a lot of uh, corporations or so are willing to come down to the ground and say, look, I think we do need to have the startup because they are the one actually going to be the, the next, you know, a big firm or big company. It looks like my taxi, for example, you know, it like, like, you know, like job straight. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are actually that they are seeing that, okay, they need to actually hack uh, this kind of market so that when they grow, they grow together. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go with big picture. Um, we are in a very exciting time, especially as an ASEAN nation, you know, with the, the dawn of the ASEAN summit and, mm -hmm. and we've got uh, ASEAN uh, economic community, AEC, coming along. Mm -hmm. How do you see these uh, initiatives or these economic de developments on a global scale or uh, on a regional scale mm -hmm. helping the startup scene and helping Magic and ACES cause? Well, um, like you said, because I think now the economy is in you know, like not very stable, and then the economy, I mean, the currency, uh, are, you know, like fluctuate and all that. But again, business has to go on, right? So business as usual. So this is where uh, what is is trying to help is that because if if you want to wait for the economy to actually stable for you to want to start your business, you might probably you know lag behind if they say someone has start first. So to be able to compete, uh, you need to be able to get a support that actually are willing to actually. You know, um, um, come down to the stage where um, you know that, that services can be much cheaper, mm -hmm. and then uh, e even if let's say you want to go travel to like like I said that we have all the ASEAN partners, mm -hmm. all the ASEAN partners are willing to actually uh, you know help them in terms of probably host them for you know uh, we we have this thing called like co-working space mm -hmm. that they have like hot desks you know that they can actually trial you know the, the market uh, to be able to actually understand before they actually you know invest into this company, so so that will actually how we actually Magic and, and ACE is trying to support them. What other yeah. programs uh, do Magic and ACE have at the current moment besides this? Okay, most, I mean, at this moment is practically is, uh, is uh, more of like um, supporting in terms of their key services for now. Uh, but again, um, we also have, uh, you know, like program that we're planning to do, like if they say any startup that are willing to go or ready to go to uh, abroad, uh, we try to create a program where Probably we can send them over to to be able to actually see the market first mm. before they actually can you know mm. uh, uh, you know invest into those countries. At the same time, uh, we also trying to um, come up with uh, some sort of market intelligence uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, research, mm -hmm. so that uh, when when the startup come to us, uh, the potential of uh, is helping them in terms of their market readiness or market intelligence, so that uh, you know rather than they they try to find. A way that okay, probably ask anybody who around there that actually, well, do you know this was going on? You know that they come to us, we give them the assistance. Yeah. Ace is all about penetration, of, uh, penetrating the ASEAN market. What's in it for the future? People say you must think big. How about the global market? What's your plan for the future? Honest, okay, you are right. Okay, so because at this moment, <laughs> it called as Ace as ASEAN Center Entrepreneurship. Because we want to maintain that actually all these initiatives start from ASEAN countries, mm -hmm. okay? But uh, starting from from you know uh, even in Q1, we already have the plan that we're going to go regional, uh, we're going to go to Asia Pacific and Japan as well. 
In fact, we have been we have been getting a lot of query from you know like uh, uh, entrepreneur all the way come from India, from Korea, from China. Uh, even uh, yesterday, I was together with this uh, association of uh, youth foundation from uh, Hong Kong in China, mm -hmm. asking is that hey, you know if if they want to be part of uh, you know asset market, can Magic or uh, Malaysia actually come over to those countries and see whether there is a potential working together? I said of course, you know. So we are going there. Mm. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. So <laughs> exciting times ahead. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of preparation. There's a lot of work to be done. But uh, it's it's actually it's it's time for all the startup to think about you know uh, really going bigger than whatever their market right now. You know, so uh, this is the reason why actually is uh, a startup. And then and so why actually uh, to be honest, when Magic was actually established, one thing that our CEO uh, mission was that to put Malaysia in the world map. Oh, All right. So, so that aligned to the entire major objective. So, moving towards the future, do you do you have the belief that our uh, local startups are up to the task, reaching the global market? We we going there. We we I mean slowly but surely. Uh, there's a lot of startup. Uh, I mean, again, I, I take one of the big example like my taxi now. Right. You know, it's startup as my taxi, but if you go to all the ASEAN countries, known as Grab Taxi, and everybody knows Grab Taxi, Uber is like you know like equivalent to them. You know. So. We will get there. Okay. So thank you, Mr. Yusni, for joining us in the Business Awani Studio. Um, itu tadi pengarah pusat kesahanan ASEAN, Ace uh, Muhammad Yusni Rahman, membincangkan berkenaan uh, startup ataupun perniagaan permulaan di peringkat tempatan. Dan perbincangan itu tadi mengakhiri Business Awani untuk hari ini. Ikuti lebih berita kami dalam web www.westrawani.com, mak turun aplikasi kami, Google Play Store dan di App Store dan hantarkan semua pandangan anda ke media sosial kami. Terus setia bersama Westrawani, berita sekenap dimensi. Saya Lukman Haris. Assalamualaikum dan salam hormat.